Hey guys, be sure to like and subscribe. Um, today I want to talk about pets in the Philippines. Um, pets can be like a blessing or a nuisance here. And in most cases here, they're a nuisance, <laughs> to be honest with you, um, unless you have a well-trained animal. Um, over here, a lot of people don't believe in fixing their dogs and or getting them neutered or whatever what have you and they there's like a overabundance of dogs here and barking we've talked about the barking and stuff already so i won't even go get into that but anyway i just want to talk about dogs basically as pets here today my dog was basically a dog from a a, a bunch of puppies from down below and they ended up getting rid of the puppies because we, we took care of that issue I didn't want all the dogs around here <laughs> let me tell you but what I did was I mean I love having a dog okay and I don't like my dog to be a, a problem for people around me okay for the most part so what I did was I went out and I, got, I bought this thing it's like I call it a bark arrester it's a thing that puts out a high-pitched noise you can order them through almost any place online you know they all have them you just look up like um a barky uh you know you look up whatever you, you, it, go, it, can go, it goes under different names but anyway you look it up you, you look up that you find it and, and they have a thing a collar also that it's like like it stops barking just look up just put in stop stop barking and you'll see something pop up probably but anyway i found it on i found mine on lazada i ordered it they sent it out you have to put in a nine volt battery every two weeks okay and what it does is it basically trains your dog not to bark as much. It doesn't train your dog to stop barking, but it keeps them from being a constant nuisance, okay? And it's actually trained two dogs around here, my dog and another dog, a little bit. Now, do they bark still? Yeah, my dog barks basically when it sees somebody that he doesn't know, he'll bark. And the other dog around here that lives here also in another apartment we'll do the same now now before i bought the thing they like to bark a lot and i had to correct them myself i had to keep going out and tell them to knock it off and then they'd stop you know and my dog i've also even trained him to become like a um a, a dog that'll do like security around here i have him going around the neighborhood like around our small neighborhood right here and he runs around here. All I have to do is say, get him, get him. And he does a run around here looking to see if, if there's anybody strange around here. And I've trained him to do that. And, and, and when you're retired, you guys, you have plenty of time to train your dogs here. You know, and it's actually quite a good hobby. And you're going to get a lot of love and affection from that pet. You know, and you're probably going to have a rescue dog here. You know, you're going to rescue a dog that would probably go off and be short leash somewhere and be barking the rest of his life until he died and wouldn't get any care and be fed basically scraps all the time. I mean, my dog, I, we feed him scraps, but we, we, I give him some good food on my own sometimes. My, my girlfriend doesn't like that, but I, I once in a while sneak him some food. And my dog's name is Watson. We named him after the, um, the pharmacies here, you know. But, you know, dogs are, dogs are certainly... A great thing to have here i buy him like the, the stuff to, that you put on the back of the neck for the fleas because otherwise the dogs suffer from fleas by the way that that stuff seems to help also with the mange here so if you have a dog with the mange um you put that on them it usually helps the, the, the sergeant stuff you put it on the back of their neck but also um if you get a a and d ointment or desitin and you put that on the, the spots where the dog gets the mange it helps the fur grows back goes back almost immediately but you know my dog my dog's a really really good pet he's a, he's afraid of thunder he's a very loving dog we always you know pat and love him and everybody in the family loves him and that's the way a dog should be treated here and if you treat your dog really good here you get a lot you get a lot of love back from those dogs especially the dog a filipino dog you know my dog is almost i call him an american dog now because he acts like an American dog, but the other dogs around here, around the neighborhood here, there's like a wild pack of dogs around here. They come around at night and there's like about eight or 10 of them. 
and every night they meet up and they 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 roam the neighborhood and and they'll beat up your dog if you're not careful they'll even kill your dog i i, I heard them out back fighting one time with one dog and matter of fact with my dog one time too and they'll tear your dog apart my dog has a couple of bite marks from them from that pack but that pack's like afraid of me for some reason maybe because i look different than the other people and i, I chase after them and they run away so they don't come around here anymore too much i mean I see them in the street. Sometimes they look at me like, you know, like, stay away from this guy. You know, he's crazy. <laughs> you know, because there's one dog that's that's very ferocious in that pack, and even that dog stays away from me. But he'll bark at other people. Uh, he's he looks he has like spots on him and stuff. He lives a couple streets over, and he doesn't come over here too much anymore. But yeah, dogs, dogs in the Philippines. Yeah. It's it's well worth it. Cats, I don't recommend getting a cat around here. I just don't, unless it's an outdoor cat or something like that. It's just too dirty and grungy around here. They're gonna come in your house and track all over your house and stuff. And, and it gets too muddy in the rainy season to have a, a cat here. My dog, we let him in here on the porch to sleep here at night because we have like a porch and you can, I'll show you over here. We have a gate. I don't know if you can see that or not, but we have a gate. And we can shut that gate or we can leave it open. I usually leave it open at night and he sleeps in here. He sleeps here because it's underneath the roof and it's dry, okay? And it just helps him. It gives him, like, he sleeps on the rug. On the We put a rug out for him to sleep on. He sleeps on that rug. It's, it's usually dry. And he's happy, you know? And we also let him sleep in the cabana too, you know, because he has to have his comfort zone too. But yeah, I, I highly recommend people get a dog here. Um, you know, I mean, if you're going to stay here for good, you know, I mean, it just makes you feel more at home, you know, when nobody, if nobody's around or something, you know, he, he watches the place. And also when you're here, you, you know, it's like, like they say, man's best friend. He's just, he just makes life complete here, you know, but anyway, guys, I just want to throw, 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 throw something different out there that a lot of people don't talk about here. And, you know, I think everybody needs a pet. You know, and, and I think you're helping with the dog population around here, you know, and, and take care of your dog, guys. You know, make sure if you have a female that, that you, you, you get your female fixed, you know, because they just, you just don't want to keep on fostering all those puppies around here because everybody's got dogs. I see people with three or four dogs. They don't even have a water dish. Half, half these dogs don't have a water dish. They don't have food. People forget to water their dogs. The dogs don't live long because they're not getting watered. It's not good for their kidneys and stuff like that because they're just not getting enough liquids. So the only liquids they get is in their food. If somebody pours something on their food or whatever, it gives them soup or something like that. I mean, it's not all people do that, but I, I don't know what it is. I think it's like an education issue in some cases, but some people just don't feed their dog properly. And then the short leash issue is another issue. When you short leash your dog, the dog's gonna go mad. You know, and it's it, that's just cruel. Dog needs a little room to move around, um, and you need to take him for a walk once in a while. You know, my dog, my dog's on the loose. He stays around here and he does his own thing. He goes down in the woods here because we live in a really good section where he can run around, and we're lucky that he, you know, we have that area, extra area for him. Sometimes he even runs down to the river down back, and just wades in the water down there and comes back. You know, I've seen him a couple times going. He doesn't go down there often, but he does go down there. God bless, guys. Take care.